The clock is ticking for your business to upgrade its barcodes with GS1 Sunrise 2027 initiative fast approaching. By 2027, 1D barcodes will be replaced with more advanced QR codes. And this means businesses will need to transition to GS1 Digital Link QR codes to keep up with global standards. Within the GS1 Digital Link QR code framework, you have several QR code solutions to choose from, each offering unique functionalities based on your needs. So the URL QR code is great for linking directly to promotional websites or product pages. The product page QR code takes users to a customized landing page with multiple links to safety guidelines, customer service, or product certification. The App Store's QR code helps increase app downloads by linking directly to your app on different platforms. So in this tutorial, we're focusing on the file QR code solution designed for businesses that want to provide downloadable content directly through their QR codes. This solution is especially useful for products that come with user guides, safety information, detailed instructions, or multimedia files. With the file QR code solution, you can upload a file in formats like PDF, JPEG, MP4, and more, allowing customers to instantly access a product manual, installation guide, or any supporting document just by scanning. So now, let's get started with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to generate a GS1 digital link QR code using the file QR code solution. Go to our GS1 QR code generator linked in the description box below. Then log into your account to get started. When creating a GS1 QR code, you can choose to either use the extended or the simplified version. Step one, simplified version. So let's start with the simplified version. For this one, all you need is your product's European article number or EAN code. It's a 13-digit barcode that helps track and identify items and is commonly used in Europe and other regions. So type in your EAN code on the text box, then choose whether to overlay a barcode over the QR code or display the serial number under the QR code, or you can do both. Step 1, Extended Version. Now for the extended version. So with this one, you'll need to fill in a primary identification key, key qualifiers, and data attributes. Under the primary identification key section, you need to choose your product's application identifier. So this is the main identifier for your item. The most common types of it are the GTIN and the GLN, but there's also a lot of other ones that you can choose from too. So just click the drop-down menu to choose one. After that, type in the value and the serial number. The key qualifier section is where you provide additional data for more specifics. You can type in your item's consumer product variant and batch or lot number. And finally, the data attributes. This is supplementary information to provide more details about the item, such as its expiration date, manufacturing date, price, or even weight. Type in the key and value for this information and add or remove details by clicking the add and subtract icons. You can then choose to overlay a barcode over the QR code and or display the serial number under the QR code or hey, you can do both. Now once you've filled in all the information, you can now proceed to the second step. Step 2. Upload file and generate QR code. So here, you're going to choose the QR code solution that you wish to use. And for this video, we'll give the file QR code solution a try. So to upload one, you want to click Upload File. It can be a user guide in PDF format, illustrations in JPEG format or PNG format, a video tutorial in MP4 format, and more. After uploading the file, click Generate Dynamic QR Code. A dynamic QR code lets you edit and update your file anytime. Step 3. Customize your QR code. Finally, you can customize the look of your QR code. So you can customize your QR code by choosing the pattern, the eyes, picking colors, and adding a frame, or hey, just simply choose a template that you like. And after you're done personalizing the QR code, you want to choose a file type, then click download, and you're done. And there you have it you successfully created a GS1 digital link QR code using the file QR code solution. Your business is now ready for the Sunrise 2027 initiative, keeping you ahead of the curve with compliant data-rich barcodes. And if you found this tutorial helpful, 
don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And when you're ready to create your own GS1 QR codes, check out this link in the description to get started with QR Tiger. Future proof your business with QR Tiger's GS1 Power QR Code Generator and stay ready for the next era of product barcoding. See you in the next video.